so much. That puts a lot of perspective Now the On Your Side forecast with Steve Liebenthal. And all week long I've been talking about the storm system off the coast of California and how it is pushing moisture in our direction. And it is a very slow moving storm, just kind of spinning its wheels right now, but it is finally having some effect on our weather. We're seeing some clouds popping up over the valley and temperatures in the mountains, especially in the Haley area, much cooler than they have been for the past several days. We've hit 90 degrees the last couple of days in Haley and the cloud cover providing some cooler temperatures and humidity is also finally on on the rise. 75 degrees is the reading from the Haley Airport right now compared to 88 which is where we were 24 hours ago. And yesterday at this time, our humidities were in the teens in the Haley area. And now we're seeing humidities in the 30 to 35 percent range. So things are slowly changing. We're getting some more moisture coming in. And that's a trend that will continue for the next 24 to 48 hours with that storm system. I'll show you in just a moment. 90 degrees temperature right now in Boise. Our average high for today is 89. So pretty close to a typical day. But the cooler temperature is a result of the cloud cover block blocking the sun uh, and we'll see a warm day tomorrow. We will continue to see clouds streaming in and eventually some showers and thunderstorms, but all of that is coming our way out of the south and because of that southerly flow, temperatures will heat up tomorrow before all of the activity begins and now we're expecting those showers and thunderstorms to favor the evening hours and in fact overnight tomorrow night and Friday morning is when we're most likely to see showers and thunderstorms here in southwestern Idaho as well as the central mountains. For the second day in a row we've seen a few showers trying to pop up over the mountains to the south of the Magic Valley. Uh, not a lot of force with these and as you can see they are dying down now but this is just the beginning. Again this storm system that is just kind of spinning its wheels off the coast of California hasn't moved much at all. Here's the area of low pressure. You see that swirl in the clouds, that counterclockwise rotation. That's the center of this storm. It is cut off from the jet stream and that's why it's not really moving much, but we do still expect it to start moving to the north. Our uh, computer models have been wanting this to happen during the middle part of the day tomorrow, but because of the uh, just kind of stagnant nature of this storm system, the computer model is now delaying that by about 12 hours. So the highest likelihood of seeing showers and thunderstorms, as I said here in southern Idaho, will be from midnight tomorrow night into Friday morning as all of that moisture streams in. And again, it's coming out of the south. And with that southerly flow, we'll see warm air coming in as well. So our temperatures tomorrow will actually be warmer than they have been today. We're expecting afternoon highs in the Treasure Valley to hit the mid 90s tomorrow and then the moisture comes in. We'll get that lift in the atmosphere from the daytime heating. You'll see those clouds really flare up late in the day tomorrow and again the highest likelihood of showers and thunderstorms is actually from midnight into the early morning hours of Friday. Not really that typical that we see those thunderstorms overnight here in the west but with this storm system that looks to be the case and because it's a slow moving storm places that get rain are likely to get quite a bit of rain. Typically a thunderstorm will move in, develop, and drop some rain and then move quickly out, but uh, we're expecting this storm system, because of its slow moving nature, to drop some pretty good amounts of rain in some places. We could get as much as an inch of rain in some locations. Still not seeing any flash flood advisories just yet, but that is a concern as the rain falls on those uh, places that have burned. And this weekend, the thunderstorm activity to the east of us, we'll see plenty of sunshine here in the valley and temperatures will warm up after a cooler day on Friday. But tomorrow, midnight, here in the valley, west central mountains, chance of those thunderstorms in the afternoon and evening with afternoon highs in the mid 80s at higher elevations. At the lower elevations, you'll see 90s and in fact, Garden Valley all the way up to 96 degrees. East central mountains, mostly cloudy. Thunderstorms in the afternoon and evening and again overnight and into Friday morning. Afternoon highs will be pretty close to where they have been today. Maybe a degree or two warmer in some places. 84 is our forecast high for Sun Valley. Partly cloudy in the Magic Valley in the morning. Watch for those clouds to really pop up in the afternoon leading to a good chance of showers and thunderstorms by late in the day. A little bit earlier in the Magic Valley than here in the Treasure Valley. Again midnight through Friday morning is when we're really expecting those showers and thunderstorms. So despite the fact that I have a 30% chance for Thursday and Friday. That's for those days in whole. There's a 60% chance that we'll see showers and thunderstorms 
overnight, Thursday night into Friday morning here in the valley, and the likelihood is even higher in the mountains of Idaho. We are hoping for some drenching rain on those fire lines, and yeah. we're going to carefully be watching where those lightning strikes occur because we could see some new fires mm. starting. Let's hope it's not. Touchy. Yeah. Yep. All right, thanks, Steve.